Hey there, it's Whitney with MessengerOfSpirit.com and it's the holidays. Let's talk about the holidays when it comes to you and your intuition. All right, so as you are just absorbing everybody else's stuff, not just the family and the friends that you talk to, but perhaps the people in the shopping area or the collective consciousness, there can be a lot of stuff going on. First and foremost, if you're having trouble connecting to your intuition, I really feel that cleansing is important. So I encourage you to find a place to really cleanse your energy, whether it is baths with sea salt, frankincense aromatherapy, which is my favorite, or another way to cleanse your energy. Let me show you a technique really quick. You can take a moment and just imagine white light coming down from your hands and just go, with the intention of that energy going down through your feet into the core of the earth and the core of the earth transmute it into love and light. So clear your energy on a consistent basis. What happens is when we absorb other people's stuff, it gets really hard to understand what is yours and what is theirs and what's your intuition, right? So clearing and cleaning can be helpful. Another thing is going to be practicing clearing your mind. So there are a couple ways to clear your mind. Of course, you can go outside and go for a walk. Perhaps you just really like the way to clear your mind of just, just really closing your eyes and seeing silence, or I don't know if you can see silence, but you get the point, right? Just seeing nothing, you can do that. Um, you can also clear your mind through some quick ways. So one of the ways that you can do this is imagining that you are in front of a TV and the TV has sound and you hear it and you see the things on the TV and you can take a remote and go click and then just mute it or turn it off and everything goes to silence. And when that happens, your mind is clear. So clearing the mind is really important. Also consistency, taking at least five minutes a day to just clear your mind. And then if you want to connect in with your spirit guides, I encourage it, ask them, hey, do you have any messages for me today? And then just allow it to come in through your intuitive language. So with that, making sure that you're cleaning, you're clearing. And then another thing is supporting. So how are you supporting yourself through the holidays? Are you supporting and amplifying your energy or are you feeling drained? Are you engaging in activities, thought patterns that drain your energy or are you nourishing your body? And so nourishing might look like just resting. It might look like spending time with people that uplift you. It might look like, you know what? I am going to make sure that I have no stress. I'm gonna allow myself not to take on any stress. It might just simply be giving yourself permission not to do that. It looks different for everybody, but how are you nourishing your energy? Are you surrounding yourself by things that are supportive? Are you eating things that are supportive? And this will also help your intuition because if you think of a plant, I use plants often as my examples, as you're nourishing the roots, the plant can thrive. If your roots are not good, the plant can't thrive. So if you want to think of the leaves and the tops of the trees as your antennas for your intuition, you got to make sure that your body is doing well and that you're feeling well and that you're nourishing yourself with the right soil so that your root system can grow. Okay, so those are some tips with your intuition. And really staying consistent can help you understand what's intuitive and what's not. And you know I'm gonna encourage you to understand your intuitive language. So with that being said, I have so many tools for you this holiday season. And right now, we're actually doing something super special for December. We have a 20% off three of my most popular courses. And with that, we've got the Empath Workshop. So 20% off of that. My secrets to intuition in life and business. If you really want to start using your intuition to make aligned decisions to save you time and energy and avoid the people that you don't need to be talking to. And then also you can look at the manifesting workshop. So you can manifest those dreams, those desires and get kickstarted into that instead of just sitting around hoping for it. So go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash sale 
and you'll see 20% off three of the courses. And then if you also wanna jump into your intuition, you can learn with my six week program starting at $97 a month. And then you can also do the meditation library too. So many things. So excited to offer this to you. Here's to connecting to your intuition this holiday season and into the new year.